Hey guys and girls, it's Marcus from Scene TV. We are down at the Hilton today where we are with the handsome guys from the Californian Crooners Club. We have got Connor, we've got Tiso, and we've got Emil. Sure. Now, one of you are missing. Oh, it yeah. is the delightful yeah, Hugh it's, Sheridan. It's, it's Mr. Hugh Sheridan. He's always Where busy. He? He's filming a movie that? right now, is actually. He really? yeah. He's got five days off and he decided to go film a movie. <laughs> and then rush back and do the show I again. I don't know if that was by choice because we've heard he's all about it since you left. He's hardest like, oh. working man that I probably know because he's always doing something. He's yeah. so busy. He's so incredible. What have you guys done for the five days without Ooh, Hugh? So this is our first time in Adelaide. <laughs> So I believe we've done everything from our... We went to Grinnell yesterday. We rode a helicopter in a helicopter. Um, we, we took a helicopter down the to the Greek something. To the Star of Greece. Star of Greece. Greece. Yeah. Yes. That was and, beautiful. Uh, Port Valanga. I've, that, that, that was incredible. It's that one of the so best restaurants fun. ever. I awesome, love awesome food and a brilliant um, scenery. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. It's amazing. yeah it was beautiful. And the so we just perfect. we've been able to explore and you know see see the place where I guess he was from uh, for our, for ourselves. We yeah, saw Queen cool. And Adam Lambert, which was really fun. That was how incredible. amazing was oh that? It was God. ridiculous. That was, that was way sensational. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we had incredible. Grace Jones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, we missed it because it was the same Sheeran. night. Ed Sheeran. Just Ed Sheeran. Everything's happening. You got now. the California Kunas club and these guys. Everybody's here. So you know what? We can go on about all these other people <laughs> endlessly. I know that because um, we're all fans. But let's talk about your show. Oh, Tell uh -huh. us about uh, what Californian Crooners Club it's is hot, all about. High energy and, and a really Extremely. good time for everybody. I mean, one thing I've realized in, in, in our shows that there are people, that there are kids, that, you know, people from all different generations and they're all able to have fun because yeah. as you can see, we, we we represent a lot of different <laughs> in, yeah. our, in our book, not only our looks but our, our tones and our and our musical likings. So the the music. And I'm not old like you. <laughs> but oh. We brought him from a boy oh. band to a man band. And now we you are very boy <laughs> band, band actually. Band. Yeah. Yeah. But he brings the aspect, you know, where I mean, we we can do songs that you know for his generation. We can do songs like you know, night and day. We 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 have classics and we have the new classics, and it's just a really fun show that everybody. Can enjoy. Yeah, I think um, you know when we when we started this uh, a couple of years ago with Hugh, um, you know, um, we what we said was we wanted to take jazz and make it you know popular for young kids again, yeah. and, and that's what we've been trying to do. So we have you know the swing and standards in there, you know, Cole Porter, Frank Sinatra, all yeah. that things, all those type of things, and then we also have the really crazy things in there, you know, like Bruno Mars, you know, Twenty Four Carat, you know, <laughs> and we rap, we do Kanye West, you know, yeah. for instance. Um, so, and, and really, I, I like to always go, it's a fusion of um, jazz and funk. I like to call it junk. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. No, think of Frank Sinatra. Think of Frank Sinatra meets Kanye that West. That's kind of like what we do. Yeah. yeah. Now, so you're one of the originators of um, the club, aren't you? Yeah, uh, I, was, you? I was lucky enough, you know, about three, three and a half years ago now, I was uh, performing quite often um, at Herb Alpert um, at his uh, uh, his jazz club in Bel Air, and I, I had gotten this uh, opportunity to perform for his daughter, uh, who's the owner of the club, you know, co-owner, uh, for her birthday. And um, I had met Hugh about three days or four days earlier through a mutual friend, and we just hit it off. And we would just get together during the day, not so much to work, but just to have some wine. And um, we became the best of friends, right. and yeah, and um, you know, Hugh and I started performing together, and before we knew it, we were just the best friends. We would get together every day, write songs, drink all day, just have a great time. And then Hugh had gotten the opportunity. Uh, Heather from um, the Fringe uh, called Hugh and said, "Hugh, do you want to do a show?" And he was graceful enough, you know, to um, you know call me and say, "Hey, Emil, I've got this idea. Let's let's do this," you know, and. I was very lucky, and uh, you know, I want to say right place, right time. You know, and Hugh, I had no idea Hugh was such a big deal in in Australia. The, the first time I got here, I was like, "Oh, we're just gonna do a show." And I saw girls running up to Hugh and all kinds of crazy. I was like, yeah. "Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's you my done? friend from from <laughs> America?" <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, I'm kind of like a, a you know, I, I do some man. TV here." <laughs> and TV I was like, stuff. "What? Yeah. Oh yeah. my God!" So um. So yeah, and then it just uh, you know, it snowballed from there. That first year was a great success, and then last year uh, it continued. And this year it's even bigger and better. You know, we're so lucky to have T Soul and Connor with yeah. us. Um, they're phenomenal, so lucky to be a phenomenal. Yeah. I saw T Soul actually by chance on um, on YouTube. Um, he was on The Voice um, as a ah, finalist. Yeah, wow. And um, 
I saw him sing, and I, was, I went to Hugh, and I said, man, we got to get someone like him. And Hugh went, well, we should just get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, and then um, was, you know, fortunately, he, uh, T-Sol agreed. It, it, no, well, it was perfect timing because, um, I mean, after my time on The Voice, my, I had my goal and set on going overseas and just expanding my brand in that way. And so I, I, I went to Sweden, and I, I've been to Paris on my own. But when they said, hey, you want to come to Australia? I was like, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And then, I mean, we, I, I was able to come out to uh, Melbourne, and we performed for Qantas in December of last year. And we performed an amazing song called Dreamers that Hugh wrote. And just seeing that trip, or going through the experience of that trip, then seeing the work ethic and just seeing the drive that we had, I saw the potential that you know the California Kunitz Club had. And they told me about this Friends Festival, and they were like, the time that you're going to have here is like no it's other. It's pretty wild, right? It's yeah. been crazy uh, from start to, like, I, 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 like, I'm glad we added shows because I didn't want the party to end. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> it doesn't have to end. No. It doesn't yeah. have to end. No, 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 <laughs> so no. have you been out to see much of the shows? Oh, yeah, we saw, so we got to see. Uh, Jackson versus Jackson. Jackson, Jackson versus amazing. Jackson Brilliant. was the first night, and that was, I mean, I, we were singing every song. Oh, that was so <laughs> much fun. Like, that, that was a brilliant, brilliant show. And then um, we even saw... Uh, a magic show. Tarrant, the, the Mentalist. Matt, Tarrant, the Matt, Mentalist. Matt, Matt Tarrant? Tarrant. Matt Tarrant. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. amazing. He's a very he clever man. Phenomenal. He guessed the number that I... Yeah, it was his... his <laughs> if, if you haven't seen the show, go see it because... It's mind-blowing. Yeah. My and mind was blown. I'm still trying to like, figure how out. How does that happen? Exactly. Mm. And, 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 you know, before I was watching things happen, it wasn't even until I became a part that I was really just... <laughs> blown away. Yeah. Yeah. And um and then uh, last night we got to see some uh, the French aerialist uh, circus I believe they're called. I missed that one. It's called. Oh yeah, it begins with a T. But it was amazing because the things that they were able to do with their bodies, oh, jumping, the body and flipping, they and have is just ridiculous. I mean, it, well, you, you haven't know. seen me in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, was about I to say. Excited, I was about to you say. went there with that. That, was great. <laughs> that makes me so much more comfortable now. <laughs> now we're friends. Now, now we're friends. Connor, you are the youngest one of the group. I am. Um, or maybe you've just had a whole lot of Botox. Who can say? <laughs> um, He's the but, baby spice. Um, so, um, did you have to get really familiar with these tunes? Yes, I still, <laughs> I'm still considering myself kind of getting familiar with them, <laughs> um, but I'm loving them. So, like night and day. I am obsessed with that song, yeah. and that's not something that I'd ever listened to before really coming here. I'm like very up to date on what's currently on the radio, just because doing solo stuff, as all of us could relate to, um, you try to like see what's relevant, what's hitting, what's staying um, on top. So yeah, it's been re like pretty easy to be honest. It's been really fun. Rehearsals were always fun. We rehearsed yeah. um, together for the first time actually recently, so it was. It's been. The shows come together so quickly and so amazing, and and he helps us out like, with the new songs too right. because um, Havana Ooh Na Na, I love the song and we were singing it, but um, I did not know all the words and he of course all they so we have to learn the new stuff and he has to learn the old stuff and then we come together and make so, it a great show. It's been great. It's <laughs> and been there's so much there's fun. a bit of Bruno Mars. Yeah, we oh, yeah. Bruno oh, Mars yeah. in there. Right. Are we? Okay, magic in the air. Fantastic. So many reasons why you should be going to oh, check yeah. out this show, guys. Yes, now, please. you are playing at the Hilton. Yes. Um, now, we are approaching the end of the season, though. Yeah. You are only on um, this Sunday and, and this Monday. Yep. On Monday, there are two shows, I believe, isn't yeah. it? Sunday, Sunday there are two well. shows. On yeah. Sunday, okay, yes. Sunday 6.30 and 8.30. And Catch there wouldn't be on. many tickets left, guys, so I suggest oh, you yeah. get on the Fringe website immediately and book, 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 because it's these guys, not only are they super handsome, but they're party. really talented. And if I ask them really nicely, they might come home. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If I ask them really <laughs> nicely, they might even do a bit of a tune for us. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can do uh, that. Uh, what do you want to do? do? do I'm not Let's do, um, Let's do Bieber. Okay. Bieber. I'll be boxing. You sing. Oh, Should we stand? Uh, you, can stand. Gonna, you can stand. Uh, let's stand. Let's stand. stand. Yeah. That, that might be a little bit easier. I'll just watch from here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come in the middle. Sorry. Woo. Okay. Pick a All key. Right. There we go. Um, I'll just go for just it. Just go for it. For all the times that you rain on my parade And all the clubs you get in using my name You think you broke my heart, oh girl, for goodness sake 
You think I'm crying on my own, well I ain't And I didn't want to write a song Cause I didn't want anyone thinking I still care, I don't But you still hit my phone up And baby I'll be moving on And I think we should be something I don't want to hold back Baby you should know that My mama don't like you and she likes everyone and I never like to admit that I was wrong I get so caught up in my job Didn't see what's going on But now I know I'm better sleeping on my own So if you like the way you look that much Oh baby, you should go and love yourself And if you think that I'm Still holding on to something You should go and love yourself You should go and love yourself Oh, there we go. Brilliant. That was amazing. These guys are three of the four mm -hmm. Californian Crooners Club. They are playing down here at the Hilton. Yes. Um, Sunday, Monday, two more shows each of those days. Sunday at um, 6.30 and 8.30, and Monday at 1 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. Yeah. So Get on it, guys. Things. Adelaide Fringe, amazing stuff, and it's happening down at the Hilton. You've been watching Scene TV with Emil, with Connor, and Tiso. Hugh Sheridan next and time. Marcus. Oh, and Marcus. And Marcus. <laughs> um, see you guys. We'll see you for more Adelaide Fringe really soon. Bye.